Hey everybody, welcome back to Three's a Crowd. Um, that's, I guess, our previous guy who kind of sacrificed himself. I'm, did he like tear his heart out and put it on the pillar? Because that's metal. Holy crap. So, yeah, we're the last dude. Um, this is map 19, Crossfire. It's kind of got a spicy kill count. 171. Most of these introduction maps are fairly short. So are these actually blue doors? Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't matter, because any other marines pillage them. So, that is one thing. Um, so, since I started playing this, there have been a couple updates. Can I open this from the side? Okay, good. One of which, um, kind of allowed you to see this area in the first, um, the first level. So when you control the first marine. And also that little noisemaker secret became an actual secret. So, hey, <laughs> look at that. But yeah, uh, you could do that in level one now. Pro tip. Good to see that it still works here. So, invuln already. All right, what do we have? Um, okay, so this is just the room I was in. And from what I've seen, it has, yeah, like little tunnels there that have uh, doors in them. Yeah, pretty nice stuff. Well, I guess let's go ahead and just, okay, we've got all the armor, or armor ammo. Um, do I want to go forward first or right f right or left first? I don't know. Let's try this first. Uh, shotgun. That's... I'm sure that'll be useful, maybe. Maybe I'll consider using that when, uh... Oh, balls. Oh, thank you. Um... Okay, I want to make as much use of this as I can. So we got... Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> um, well, hey, we got an Arachnotron. That's, uh, that's progress, right? Um, I mean, there's a lot of plasma here. Oop, give me that. Give me that. Why not? I don't know how much I'm going to need to... I, I should say, I don't know how spicy the enemies are going to be, so, um... I guess let's be a little conservative. Okay. Uh, I can afford to waste three, I guess. Exit. That's definitely red. Alright. That is a lot of imp noises. Holy crap. Um... Switch there. Are there any other thingies that I need to be aware of? I almost... Well, okay. It probably doesn't help that I just did the, um... This week's Deadliest Demolition episode right before I started recording this. But, um... I'm really kind of feeling... <laughs> feeling the absence of a rocket launcher. <laughs> I don't know. Especially with all the imp sounds that I'm hearing. I... Oh, man. I mean, plasma's good, but... Rocket launcher just, you know, has that splattery goodness, if you will. Okay, um, uh, yeah, let's, uh, take you out. So is that the deal? Just those, oh, oh, those doors are open now. Um, <laughs> where's the, I heard another one. All right, you're here, you're still here. And, oh boy, now they're on the ground level. My favorite. Okay, let's, uh, just take care of these dudes. Oh, that's a lot of imps, my goodness. Uh, adios <laughs> mio. No, stop. Stop nibbling. Let's take out the fat imps now. And, um, let's get a little bit of an ammo fill up. Now I'm starting to worry about my ammo. Ha! <laughs> Who would have guessed? So I still have to worry about some imps sniping me, which is... Yeah, you know what? Stuff it. This is too easy. <laughs> this is too easy. Ha 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 ha. He says his fireballs are going all over the damn place. Okay. He's taken care of. 64. Oof. 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 
Yeah, that's, um, I don't think I have enough so, so. Boom boom thingies for that. I. Oh, you little bastard. Why, why, why? Oh, hey, thank you. Is that projectile still following me? Okay, well, that's, um, not working. Uh. Oh, and that's closed off now. Nifty. Hey, calm down. Calm down, you guys. Is there another Archie here? Oh, yeah, there's an Archie McDoodle. No, oh, get me out of here. I don't want to get punched. Getting punched hurts. Especially when your fists are that bony. Holy crap. That was a, one hell of a stun chain. Alright, so we've got a red key. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, one down. Alright, cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's, um... I guess hit the red switch and see what kind of, um... Saipeki and hell we've got in store for us. Uh... Found it. Found it. Oh, thank you. Which means there's probably one on the other side. Flippin' phenomenal. Okay, let's run, shall we? There sure is. Uh, Das East Arch File. Perfect! Thank you for the, uh, block, you bastard. You chonky spider thing. Alright, um... That could've gone better. Oh, right, I, uh... Guess next step is actually grabbing the red... No, not the red key. The other thing. This thing here. Now what's that gonna spawn? Or are we just dealing with imps now? Whew, that surprised me. Only one secret. Did we leave anything up here? That's what I'm kind of wondering. Oh, yep. Medis. Okay. Um, so, uh... What's in here? I'm not gonna press that just yet. Is that actually... That is actually the exit. So I guess the rest of the kills are just the imps. Well, I got a lot of plasma now, so, um... And I don't have anything else to use them on. So I might as well just, uh... Give these guys a taste of humble pie, I guess. Mmm, isn't that delicious? <laughs> right. Kind of an interesting weapon selection here. So you got the, um... You've got the pistol, obviously. You've got the shotgun, which, um... I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you really need to select it at any point in time, but... I mean, it's there. Then you have just, like, the plasma rifle. It's kind of nice. Usually the plasma rifle doesn't really have a, f a starring role. It's usually one of those things that you use until you get the BFG, and then you just don't want to waste your cells. So, um... Yeah. I can deal with that. I can dig it. Oh, hi. Oh, just get around the... Oh, there we go. That should be the last of them. There we go. Oh, not too shabby. A little slaughtery. I like it. And bunk. Crossfire. You'll get caught up in the crossfire. And uh, that was a short one. Let's move on to the next map, which is Rocky Road. What are we playing? Junk food? <laughs> junk food's a... Um, series of fast food and well various other junk food related slaughter what or slaughter maps so I'm pretty sure Rocky Road is actually a level in junk food so uh <laughs> yeah forgive my confusion uh, whatever just so pretty much we've got the first guy who just went straight into the bowels of hell the second guy who well indirectly went straight into the bowels of hell. How? How? Um, then we've got the third guy who's just hiking. Okay. I mean, you do you. I'm guessing this is probably just, yeah, that's just the way in. 
Nice bit of continuity. Same with the weapon selection, I mean... <laughs> yeah. Kind of a shame I didn't carry over my plasma from before, but yeah, you know. Pistol start. For some reason I thought that was a good idea, and um... Been mostly doing pistol start runs uh, ever since. Yeah. I mean, it's not a terrible idea. Ugh, damn it. Oh, okay. Just trying to blow those up and possibly do some damage, but apparently my shotgun skills are just too spider focused. Oh, where's the shotgunner? I heard him. Is he down below? I like how each episode of this just has a very different feel altogether. Definitely cannot argue that this has no visual variety, that's for sure. How in that... Oh, okay. Weapon model went off-center. Yes, models. That's what Doom uses. Haha, <laughs> you big dummy. Um... God, those things have too much health. Alright, anyway. At this point, the uh, chain gun would be kind of a nice addition to my arsenal. Kick your arsenal! What which game had that as a, ta a tagline or a something or another? Was it like a Ratchet and Clank game? I don't know. It sounds about right to me. I mean, the only Ratchet and Clank game I actually played was uh, Rift Apart, which, um, yeah, which is quite good. I enjoyed it. Though, um, I have to say it's, um, maybe not worth buying a, P a PS5 for it, especially now that it's available on PC. But, uh, you know, good game, though. I enjoy it. I actually need to finish it at some point. But, uh, you know. I'll get to it eventually. I've got so many things in the backlog right now, it's kind of silly. Alright. Of course, then again, when I... take my obligatory birthday week off, I should just sit down and play games. <laughs> you know, gut hanging out just in the most amazing way possible. Slouched with the uh, posture of a defiant teenager. God, I don't even know. Anyway, <laughs> let's just go ahead and shoot things with plasma, shall we? Go away. And, uh... Okay. Well, things are falling down, that's for sure. Uh, God, those guys are annoying. Again, it's one of those things where uh, getting or having the plasma rifle—not plasma rifle—I mean, having the plasma rifle is nice. Don't get me wrong, but I'd love to have the chain gun. <laughs> it's a cool little info cube. I like that. And again, just one of those things where it's just a very good use of stock Doom Two textures. It's pretty much just like, oh my god, get me! Oh, I can't move. Stop it! You're being bad. There we go. Honestly, aesthetically, this reminds me of that one castle from earlier on. The one that raised... Well, can I say it ro rose out of the ground when the ground technically fell down around it? Would that be too pedantic? <laughs> I don't know. Either way, it reminds me of the castle level. Like, parts of the inside of it. I wonder if that was intentional. Zoom in a tiny bit. There we go. Guessing that probably opens this. Sure does. You know, I'd like your weapon. If you don't mind. You could just throw it over that barrier. That'd be pretty pretty awesome of you. Yeah. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Okay, that opened up something behind me, and that opened up this. So I guess that opened thou, you. No. Let's try 
Try that again. <laughs> hmm. A very trusty teleporter. Oh. Is this like you get to choose one or the other? Because if that's the case... Oh, son of an ass. Oh, well. Well, missed a few. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, so... It's gone forever. So, I guess we go... No. I guess we go back here. I should have grabbed that last box. So close. But I would have been crushed. Oh, God! Yeah, that was the right choice. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to be able to open that. All right. Especially considering there's the possibility that I could just casually pick up, like, a chain gun somewhere else. Like, maybe back there. If I can get back there, I'm not really sure. Kind of looks like I can eventually. Oh, my head. hear a lot of imps, too, so... That's kind of neat. Ugh. Oh, my beautiful face. Alright, what's up here? Anything I should be aware of? That'd be a negative. We do have this area down here. Which has things in it. Enemy things! And plasma! A lot of... A suspicious amount of plasma. Okay, it's not a very suspicious amount of plasma, because there's none over here, so, um... I guess there's that, at least. Haha. <laughs> okay, that should be fine. I do want to make sure I keep some around, just in case I run into a gaggle of, like, revenants or something. Ugh, of course you'd be here about this. Okay, so that opened up that teleporter teleporter thingy my bopper. Hmm. Now is there a way into that area? That's one thing I'm very curious about. Uh hmm. Okay, so that thing just keeps doing its thing. Alright. <laughs> Can never be too careful, right? Okay, so we're back at the beginning. Now, um, did we ever see a blue door? I don't recall. But I could be wrong. Uh, yeah. Eh. 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 <laughs> I guess I went through... Yeah, there we go. I did it. Is this... When did this open up? Or was this always here and I just walked past it? I, I think it was always here and I just walked past it. It's not even counted as a secret. Alright, well, there's the yellow thingy up there. Oh, there's... Oh, I never dropped down there. Okay. Can you walk outside? Thank you. Dick. Of course he had to get like one pellet on me. You, my my pride, my ego, it stings. So let's drop down here, grab the loot, and then um, I saw the blue door. <laughs> well, it's one way to handle it. A lot of teleporters. Oh. Okay. What is going on? I don't... what? I guess I'll just let them slowly filter in. Hmm. It's kind of an interesting sequence here. Ah, great. Uh, I mean, this would kind of be a good place to use the plasma rifle. 
Especially if things get worse later on. So as I was saying... As I was saying... And just hold down the button. <laughs> Fire and uh, forget about it. Alright, maybe not right now. This is a pretty good time to forget about it. I am not hitting anything! <laughs> I blame the game. <laughs> it's never my fault. Alright. Uh, ooh. Spicy boy. Stop that. Alright, let's, um... I saw a Hell Knight in there. Hello! And of course, the shotgun gets crushed. I mean, it was fine. I had a backup. But still. Still makes me sad. And maybe a touch salty. Oh, there's another... Why, why, why? So which one of these are... The way, as they say. Or do I just kind of keep slowly heading back now? <laughs> kind of thinking that's what I gotta do. Alright, so speculation as to how this works. It almost feels like there's like a demon off screen that's just running along a set of line defs. And just because of how Doom's AI works, it's... I, I don't know. I don't know if trustworthy is the right word, but uh, deterministic enough where it actually works in a fairly consistent manner. It's the sort of thing you'd use a, a conveyor belt for in Doom, but those aren't available in vanilla. And these are fast elevators, so it's not like they're... It's not something you could script in a sequence or anything like that using conventional methods. Of course, the other possibility, too, in lieu of portals... Or portals. Um, in lieu of uh, conveyors are um, things called Miko portals. But I don't recall taking a blast of damage, which would be required for those to start functioning. In case you're not aware of what Miko portals are, they're, um, they're actually used in nerf. Um, for their scripted events, since nerf is uh, vanilla compatible. Now what those are is, um, I mean, as I mentioned, Vulpis. Bul Bul Bulbasaur. Anyway. But, uh, there's a little quirk in Doom's movement. Or, ow. If you have a, uh, Like, the floor and ceiling at the, oh, like, minimum and maximum values or something along those lines. I could be a little bit off on the details since I've never actually used them before, since I'm more of a boom mapper. Oh, they're just getting nasty. But uh, what ends up happening is you can actually push a player clone over that. Like, if you just give them, like, a tiny bit of explosion damage... The uh, player will actually continue to wrap around. Oh no, you know what it is? No, I remember. I remember it now. It's um, Amico Portal is when the s the floor level is like negative thirty two thousand seven hundred sixty eight, and then what ends up happening is when the player hits the floor, they warp up to the ceiling indefinitely, and they'll keep any momentum that they have. So. Um, if, uh, oh yeah, I don't have a freaking thing. <laughs> I was trying to pull out a uh, chain gun. But yeah, if, um, you essentially, oh, oh I got pushed back pretty far. Okay, anyway, if you were to push that player clone along with just a tiny, tiny bit of damage, like, literally just a um, barrel explosion right at the edge of the damage radius or the blast radius that player clone would just keep moving and moving and moving and go over any line def in his path so kind of like boom conveyor belts just with a few extra steps not sure if uh, Cypec uses those here I'm not sure I don't actually remember when this came out you know if they were if it was before or after they were discovered Okay, I think I took care of this area. 
So, yeah. <laughs> There's a few variables there. But that's one way to do it. The other way is just to have an enemy that has a somewhat predictable movement pattern. Just run along a list of, um, or a set of line defs. That could work too. Die, please. Thank you. Oh, piss off. <sighs> Grr, I say. Well, that's literally all of my plasma, which is unfortunate. And it makes me sad. Oh, hey, we're back here. Nifty. Yellow. No, 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 I don't think so. Now I really wish I would have picked up that extra rocket box that I kind of, you know, left behind. Oh, well. I mean, it technically was a... No, stop it. It was technically a secret thing anyway, so, um... Yeah. Shrug, I guess. I'm just doing a quick scan for ammo boxes of some sort, because I am running a little low for some reason. Who would have thought? So I can't really think... I mean, that's really the only way I could think of that those would move that perfectly and that consistently. But it could just be those random elevator or random lifts too. I don't know. I'd have to actually look at the map for that one. It just... I don't know. It feels... A little too perfect. I guess the problem with the alternatives is if you did have a monster that was controlling that, you'd have to find some way of killing it when the uh, map is over. And um, if you didn't do that in time, just do a quick scan for yellers. Oh, right, it was back. Yeah, okay. But yeah, if you uh, didn't kill them in time, they um, then the player would be would not be able to get 100%. If you killed them too early, the player wouldn't be able to effectively backtrack. So yeah, it might it probably is just some sort of automated system. Now that I put a little more thought into it, I mean I knew it wasn't just going to be straightforward. Ah. <laughs> uh. You know, Cypec, you can just make the exit door an exit door. <laughs> nah, just kidding. This is way more interesting. So, um, I'm guessing that switch probably opens that bad boy up. So I'm thinking I probably run... Excuse me. Oh. What the? Huh? What in darnation's going on here? Oh boy. Um, still have eight enemies left, so I'm a little bit nervous. Me? Nervous? Skittish? Never. Okay, now this is the end. I just missed some stuff. And unfortunately, I don't... Oh, wait, I just saw the kill count go up. Yeah, you know what, there, there might be some monsters behind the scenes controlling a few things. Okay. Well, let's uh, run in here and... This is map 20, so um, let's go ahead and check out the intermission text. Here we go! I was just gonna, gonna give it a few seconds to just kinda, you know, outpace me. Making it to the train station was bad enough, and now it seems your troubles are still far from over. But that's preferable to staying in that damn room any longer. Before succumbing to the demonic force, he directed you to a newly formed portal in this very city. What else could you do but trust his vision? Oh, this seems like a great idea. <laughs> Alright, well hey. We're uh, officially on the third chapter of Three is a Crowd. It's exciting. Honestly, this is um, it's a bit bittersweet in a way because um, that just means that it's closer to being over, and I'm really, really enjoying this megawatt. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and leave it there. Just let you savor these words, and um, 
guess we'll be back on Monday with some more of this. But yeah, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Fingers crossed for the third guy. <laughs> and all the guys, really. But anyway, till then, take it easy.